Hi, welcome to the first tutorial for CIRIS, the South African Heritage Resources Information System. Development started in January 2012 on the Drupal Content Management System platform and everything is being done as far as possible on open source technologies. We are running an open source map server called GeoServer to serve <coughs> up our own customized maps and most of the, the other content sits on the content management system. Our first version includes case management for online applications and site management but the site recording process has a little bit more work to be done and this feature will be released soon in the next coming months. The current date is 16th of August 2012 and a series of tutorials will be produced as we go forward. This tutorial is broken up into various chapters for easy download and all of these chapters are available on our website or on YouTube for streaming. The first step for potential applicants is to register on SARIS. Our website is www.sara.org.za. Our preferred browser that we recommend is Google Chrome. It's compatible with the latest HTML5 and JavaScript and we've only noticed problems on the website using Internet Explorer uh, and that's only the older versions of Internet Explorer. All other browsers that we've tested have worked fine on Cyrus, including Firefox, Opera and Safari. However, if you experience any problems in these other browsers, please revert back to Google Chrome as development is taking place on Google Chrome and we've picked up any major bugs um, immediately in development. To register and create an account with us, please click on Login Register at the top left on our homepage. Simply fill in your name and preferred password and click Create Account. So, for John Smith, we use this format of first name dot surname. Okay, if your name is something else, perhaps Sarah von Weck, then concatenate the two parts of the surname into one. This separates out the first name and the surname easily for reference purposes later in the site especially in the messaging system and it's easier to find other users who you would like to communicate with. Your email address is unique and you cannot use the same email address twice on Cyrus for accounts. So for Sarah van Weck we could have perhaps Sarah van Weck at gmail.com for instance. Okay, this is the base email address to which all notifications will be sent on uh, on Cyrus. Capture is a module which prevents automated spam um, and you would have to read the message out and type in the, the letters come, that come up and then click out, create new account. This changes every time uh, depending on your session. Sometimes it doesn't block all spam and the administrator account uh, filters out users which appear dubious with odd characters in their email address and we are deleting those accounts. If you happen to be one of these users and you have an email address which was marked as spam, please contact us directly at Sara on 021-462-4502 or send an email to nwilcher at sara.org.za. Once you've created an account, a notification will be sent to your email address notifying you that your account has been created but it is blocked. The Cyrus administrator has to create your account or activate your account rather um, and then you you have the user rights of an applicant. Down the line you will there will be various other roles like site recorders and researchers who will do different things on Cyrus, but at this stage we're just focusing on applicants today. Right, once you have an account, go to our homepage and you'll have received your email with a link taking you right into Cyrus. But you can go back here to login register 
and I'm going to use the applicant account which is already activated as an example today. Okay. Right. The first page pops up is the dashboard. This has two preset blocks, one called My Applications, and there's an explanation that I am one of the applicants in these cases, and My Projects, I am listed as a consultant expert on these cases. The reason for the two blocks is that often uh, consultants are acting on behalf of the applicants or vice versa and so they need to see either window where they've been uh, brought into a case. We're also only rolling this out in August but our case officers have been capturing data since May this year and therefore many of the cases are actually created by the case officer and therefore the page for my content is not going to bring up all your cases but in future the my content page which is available under explore my content will show you all your content that you've created on SARS including all uh, people institutions and organizations or heritage reports that you've created so it'll show you all your content types and you can browse through those right let's stop that there and then in the next section we'll go on to creating a case